Aida for kicking my son's girlfriend out of our house, my husband, 58M, and I, 56F, recently met my son's, 24M girlfriend for the first time. He's been crazy about her. Apparently they've been dating for a year before he decided to have her meet us officially. What he's told us about her all seems great. She just got her degree, was enjoying her job, family-oriented, etc. I'm honestly just glad he's happy with her. My husband and I don't think he's ever been this into someone before, so I feel pretty bad about what I did. Last weekend, he brought her over for dinner. By now we'd been anticipating meeting her with how much her son has been gushing about her, how perfect she is, that she's the one, in his words. They ring the doorbell, we open the door. She looks exactly like her pictures, which is a great start. My son is grinning ear to ear, another great start. We invite them in. She accepts my hug and a firm handshake from my husband, and then she opens her mouth. I'm the one your son puts his p**** in. To be frank, I was appalled. I expected my husband to laugh, both he and my son are jokesters, and as annoying as it can be, I love it. But this was just too much for me. Maybe I'm reserved, but of all things, she could have shared about my son, she told us that. One look at my face and my husband knew how much I disapproved. Maybe I let my expectations get too high, and it's unfair to have them, but I reiterate, of all things to say to her boyfriend's parents, whom she'd never met, she chose that. My son was amused at first but when he noticed my reaction his face dropped. I felt like he'd sold me the full package, everything he'd always been looking for in a girlfriend. I was too disturbed by the visuals it put in my head, and it translated into anger, I told her to get out, and I wanted to say more about how gross it made me feel but I fortunately, left it at that. My son didn't want to go, insisting I give her another chance but I was too fed up and uncomfortable by this point. Even my husband, who's enjoyed his fair share of raunchy jokes, wouldn't let up. They left and I immediately felt guilty. This was something my son had really looked forward to, and I feel like I took that away over a dumb joke. I tried calling to apologize but he hasn't responded. My husband thinks she's the one who should apologize. I'm considering giving her another chance but before I do was I the ah, edit. I should clear some things up. My husband had no part in my reaction. I did the kicking out, not him. I don't want him taking the fall for this. He said she should apologize but I'm not expecting an apology. Sorry for the confusion. My son lives in a nearby state. It can take about an hour to get back to where we live. He also hasn't dated anyone seriously for a while, maybe a couple of years. He told us before that he wouldn't bring anyone home unless he's sure he wants a future with her. We've been asking to meet her ever since he told us about her but he wanted to be ready. The comment about her looking like her picture shows my age, sorry for that. He's only shown us her photos she sent him, as he apparently didn't have any of them together. He hates taking pictures, and apparently she's always teasing him about it. I don't think he'd ever lie about who she is, but it's just a parental concern I've subconsciously had. I felt the same way about my daughter's then-boyfriend when we first met him. I don't have any criteria that either of my kids' spouses need to meet, I just hope my kids are happy with them. What I meant by her being the full package was indicative of what he's told us about her. As his parents we have a good idea of what he looks for in a partner, and she checked off everything based on what we'd been told. And on top of everything, aside from what she said, her appearance was how she presented it to be. Again, we aren't strict about appearances, it's just a relief to have met someone for the first time, and they look like what you'd expected. My husband said that I was worried about second-hand catfishing, if that's even a thing lol. I guess it shows how anxious I was about this. This just doesn't sit right. You said your son was all big smiles and amusement when they arrived, and up until he son realized you weren't all that impressed. You also said he jokes around like that with his dad. What are the chances it was your son's idea all along and she just, regretfully, went along with it? Because if that's the case, you probably can't get a hold of him because he's doing damage control with his girlfriend, who's now mortified and angry that his super funny joke gave you the worst impression of her that she could imagine. This honestly wouldn't surprise me, but I'm not gonna lie I'd be disappointed in him. That's not something he'd ever say in front of me directly because he knows I'm not a fan of any of personal jokes of that nature. So to make his girlfriend say it wouldn't be very good, and I'd hope that if that is the case that he makes it up to her somehow. I'll try to reach out again to let them know we can try again. That possibility makes me feel 1000 times worse. It's not a joke unless everyone laughs. She and your son need to apologize. I am the biggest jokester around. I love inappropriate jokes. I love making people cringe, but there's a time and place in reading the room. I would never do that as my first impression with my partner's parents. If into the evening we're all getting along, sure maybe we'll get there and we'll all have a laugh, but not as the first words out of her mouth. Did you react well? No, do I blame you? Nope. Did she even try to apologize before leaving, like read the room, saw and heard you shooing her away, and did she go, 
OMG, I totally started this off poorly and that joke was wholly inappropriate. I am so sorry. I honestly don't think I gave her enough time to react properly, and I regret that. Things could have gone a lot smoother if I had. She was just sort of frozen in shock, and she kept looking at my son to try to convince me not to kick her out. I guess she wasn't sure what else she could say at that point. The GF made an inappropriate joke. I don't know why. Possibly her family makes those kind of jokes so she thought it'd be fine. Maybe your son put her up to it. Maybe they both agreed it'd be funny. It crossed a line for you and that's fine. But kicking her out so quickly was a complete overreaction. Ignoring it and just carrying on like it didn't happen or even just pointing out the inappropriateness of it would have been fine. But your reaction was too much. I think you guys just need a do-over. She may have been nervous or thought it would go differently. I can't say that's ever a line that should be uttered, but it's not something to permanently damage your relationship with your son and his partner. She should apologize, but I don't know if she will. Hopefully, years from now, you guys will all laugh about how awkward the start of your relationship was. Aida for cancelling the birthday party I planned to throw for my wife after what she did. I am 36, remarried after my late wife passed away. I have a son, 15. My current wife and I have been together for two years. She generally has a good relationship with my son, although they tend to have some disagreements from time to time. My son has background in arts that involve wood. He used to help his grandfather with his woodworking and learned how to make handmade wooden items and use them as gifts. I planned a dinner party for my wife's birthday at a prestigious restaurant. The day before the party she was cleaning my son's room and saw what he got her for her birthday and that was a wooden tree with mine, hers, and his name on it. She talked with him and told him while she thought it was a sweet gift, she asked that he don't bring it to the restaurant and give it to her there. Why? No idea. When my son told me this, I just had to call her out on it. She flat out said that she thought the gift looked ridiculous and she didn't want it to be seen in that prestigious restaurant and in front of her guests. I lost it on her and told her she should be ashamed of herself for saying this when my son was being sincere and thoughtful. She swore she wasn't ashamed nor embarrassed by his work and even said she'll take the gift, but she simply didn't want it to be seen there. I told her not to worry about it since I decided to cancel the whole thing. She went off on me calling me unreasonable for outright cancelling her birthday over such trivial thing. I refused to keep arguing but she threw a fit about how I ruined her birthday and made her lose respect for me and my promises. My son kept the gift since she left THD house two days ago and her mom has been chewing me out for my decision and calling me an asshole for treating her daughter like this. It could be that it was not a big deal and I overreacted but my son was feeling hurt by her request. A 15-year-old hand made a birthday gift for his stepmother. I don't know if she can see it's actually two gifts. One, obviously the tree itself and two the thought and work he put into it. NTA she can plan her own party. That and the fact that the 15-year-old boy who lost his mother before stepmom came into the picture only two years ago feels strongly enough about her to put all their names on a tree, making it a family tree, saying he sees her as family. She should be crying tears of joy and parading that tree around town shouting from the rooftops how much it means to her. Instead she just ruined his trust, affections for her, and possibly any other woman his dad has a relationship with. Op NTA and you never will be for putting your son first. Edit to add, she likely also just ruined his love of woodworking and has him questioning every piece he's ever given. Next time he goes to think about making something, it'll probably no longer bring him the joy it did thinking about his grandfather. Now it'll be tainted with this incident. NTA, how long has she hated resented your son? This was just incredibly cruel, and at a time in his life where he really needs to feel like the adults in his life love, value and respect him. I hope you take some extra time with him because that's gotta hurt pretty badly. Holy hell NTA at all. Your wife doesn't sound like a very kind person at all but incredibly shallow and cruel. This calls for a what the hell is wrong with her. NTA, thank you for having your sons back in all this. That means more than you know. Agreed Op's wife was downright cruel. Cancel the whole marriage. You got a prenup, right? NTA, she's old enough to pretend to like it even if she really doesn't for his feelings. I would be taking that tree table to table to show it off if my kids made me something that thoughtful. Aida for telling my daughter the truth about her father. I got pregnant in college when I was 19. Her father was in the same position. Prior to doing the deed, I told him if anything were to happen I would not be getting an abortion. He said he understood. When I got pregnant, he refused any contact with my baby or responsibility. He took things further by telling my friends and his family that I planned the pregnancy to trap him so they wouldn't judge his actions. This was untrue. He paid mandatory child support but it wasn't much, it was hard but I love my daughter and wouldn't change a thing. She's wonderful and smart and she's my whole world. 
he reached out to me on Facebook saying he wants to be in his daughter's life. He's married now, I did some stalking online, his wife has frequently posted about her infertility struggle. I was against it because he's had no part of her life. It was me who had to drop out of college, work two jobs, endure the sleepless nights as a baby, and raise her. It was me that kept her belly full and kept her warm. He didn't give a shit, it was me that endured my friends turning against me and his family's harassment, and the judgment of society for being a young mom. And now that he wouldn't be sacrificing his young years, now he's finished partying, now he's got his degree and job, and his wife can't give him kids to complete his picket fence life, he wants the kid I raised for him, knowing he doesn't really have to do any work other than pick her up now and then. I told him my thoughts, and he got mad saying that I chose to have the baby not him, which tipped things over for me. I asked him to prove he thought about her, e.g. a college fund he's paid into for a while with her in mind or car money. He did not, which again proved to me, he only gave a shit when he couldn't make more kids. I spoke to my daughter but I told her the type of person her father is. I told her he has nothing for her, and I was honest about the fact his wife is infertile, so he is reaching out. I told her everything, and reiterated basically everything I said in the post. I told her to think about it, I said I'd support her knowing him, but I affirmed he is not a nice person and his intentions are not where we would want. She chose to not know him, after I informed him he got mad. He said I ruined his chance to know her, that I'm denying her a father, I told him he was the one that did that. My mother told me I shouldn't have poisoned his image to her, that she probably feels rejected all over again and she's probably hurting. I now feel like I have done wrong by her. Aida? Edit. She is 16 now edit too. If it wasn't for the infertile wife and lack of college fund or car money, showing evidence he had at least thought about her, then I probably wouldn't have said anything to her about what he is like. But to me those were red flags edit 3. FAQ he never told me he didn't want kids, he didn't tell me he wouldn't stick around for the kid when I told him I wouldn't abort before anything. Despite this, I'm not mad he left, I am mad he returned for the wrong reasons which could be harmful to my daughter. NTA you are protecting your daughter from a potentially traumatizing and harmful situation. It is one thing for him to give up parental rights and for it to remain that way, but what he is doing is treating her like she is some sort of trend of the month. What is going to happen when he realizes she is a complex, multi-layered human with a lot of thoughts and feelings and likely a lot of negative feelings towards him? I wouldn't trust him with properly taking care of an animal, let alone a child. Couldn't have put it better myself, and to op if she sees this, as a guy who was raised by a single mother and with a deadbeat father, that we usually refer to as the sperm donor, who was never around, keep up the good work. It's hard enough being a parent, let alone in that kind of situation. I would say one thing though. Try not to let your feelings about him cloud your judgment too much. I never knew my SD. I only ever had what my mum told me, and she never hid the fact that she didn't want me to have anything to do with him. I didn't get the chance to form my own opinion of the man, and for all I know he was mildly decent. And there is a small part of me that wishes I could have met him before he died, if only to see for myself who he was. And that part of me will never forgive my mum for denying me that. Your daughter may never get to that point. But for her sake, and the sake of your relationship with her, don't stand in the way if she changes her mind and wants to get to know him. Yes, he may break her heart but at least she can find out for herself.